Bro, you want to know about what sucks about bad movies nowadays? You could see that there was effort put into it, and it still ended up sucking. And I think that's the best way to put up. I think that's the best way to sum up The Flash as a movie. I just watched it earlier. Don't worry. I did not pay to see this. This movie will never see a dime of my money. I just stole it off a pirate ship. And if you know, then you know. But basically, I watched it and... Mm, man, this is a hot damn mess. This movie is all over the fucking place. Narratively and like visually, bro. Like this movie is just fucking all over the place. It's, it's terrible. Now, is it as... You know what? I put it right up there. I, I don't know, man. I put it up there like... like I didn't think it would be as worse as Scream 6 or Ant-Man 3, which are two of the worst movies of the year, in my opinion, but whew, it is up there, man. Now, look, I think we all got the controversy outside, bro. We all know Ezra Miller was doing some fuck shit. He's a well-known criminal, and he needs to be behind bars. Now that we got that out the way, the movie itself is terrible. Like, bro, like, and it sucks to me. Because personally, I see, like, there are really well done moments in this movie. Like, there's, like, the stuff between Barry and his mom. It's actually really well directed. It just sucks that it's in a movie like this. Because it's just, oh, man. And the effects, oh, man. Like, oh, shit. I gotta get so much off my chest. First of all, the effects... They can switch up at times. At certain points, they can look good. And at certain points, they look like fucking Son of the Mask out this bitch with the baby going, Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal face ass. And it's like, oh, the effects are so terrible. Especially when he's into Speed Force and shit. Like, full spoilers, bro. I don't fucking care anymore. Nobody went to see this shit. It flopped. But yeah, man, the CGI for the Speed Force, it's so terrible. Mitch from Superframe called it. He hit it right on the nail with this movie. It's so fucked. And you notice how they barely promoted the movie because when their lead star is like out on the fucking loose, there's a fucking wanted criminal out this bitch. Which, you know, for the record, the nigga didn't even show up to his premiere. So, oh God. Okay, let me get the positives out of the way before I rip this movie a new asshole. First of all, like I said before, moments, there are good moments in this movie. It's like, to put it bluntly, uh, to put it bluntly, it's like holding a turd, but it's got like diamonds and gold and shit. Just because it has diamonds and gold doesn't make it any more of a turd. Like, it's, but yeah, it does have good moments, so it's not completely terrible. Batman, we, you know, died. Batman, obviously, best part of the movie. Sucks that he died, but fuck it, we gotta have stakes. Um, yeah, but like I said before, the stuff between Barry and his mom, really touching. Like, it's too good for a movie like this, in my opinion, because, oh my god, this movie, man, it's, like I said, it's terrible, it's all over the place. But the stuff between Barry and his mom is really good, and it's actually really well done, and yeah, you know, this, the effects are good when they want to be. Like like I said before, it's so terrible, bro. It looks like a goddamn cartoon. Like, the Speed Force literally looks like something out of Spy Kids 3D. And the whole third act looks like something out of Spy Kids. Like, I was watching Spy Kids. Speaking of that, I was watching Spy Kids the other night. Like, the fourth one with the time shit. How the fuck does a Spy Kids movie have a way more done message about moving on than the fucking Flash. Come on now. And, you know, uh, yeah, that's really all I can say that's good about it. The uh, Certain stuff is good. The stuff between Barry and his mom and Batman. Only good stuff you're getting out of this movie. Now let's get to the negatives. <laughs> First of all, this shit looks like ass. I, I, cannot, I can't get that out. I cannot stress this the most. This movie looks terrible. And secondly, oh man, like, oh, there's so much shit that happens. First of all, this is not Barry Allen. I want to stress that to you right now. This is not Barry Allen. This is not how Barry acts in the comics. This is not, this is never how Barry acts. Like, you know, the whole, oh, Bruce, I can go back to save my mom. Or, 
oh, ouch, or just, I hate how zesty the Flash is in this movie, bro. It's annoying. And it doesn't help that the actor himself, I'm not respecting his pronouns, <laughs> the, uh, the Flash himself is played by a guy who is non-binary. He claims to be non-binary. So, yeah, when scenes, it's like, with him, his dialogue, it sounds so feminine and shit. It's like, ugh. Like, this is the Flash we're talking about. The title character. It sounds zesty as fuck. And it's weird, man. I, I can't get into it. And also, Past Barry, worst part of the movie to me. Worst part of the fucking movie. He, he is so annoying. I swear, there is only, like, three times where I wanted to punch a fictional character in the face. The first time was with Joffrey from Game of Thrones. The second time was with Sally with, 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 with Sally from Barry. And the third time was with Barry from this movie. Well, past Barry. He would not shut the fuck up. Like, movie, why are you doing this to me? Oh, and, oh, man, and yeah, of course, we get to cameos and shit. Yeah, we get the Earths crashing into each other. And yeah, it looks terrible. Like, the, all the graphics look fucking terrible, man. The reshoots show in this movie like the reshoots and shit everything it, it, it's just terrible and you know what you know when i was looking at this when i heard batman michael keaton was coming back i was like okay yeah they're gonna focus more on batman and you know he's just gonna be a standout character which yes and no yeah, because like you know he's there but the movie luckily the movie is more focused on unluckily if depending on how you feel about it the movie focuses more on the title character than it does about focusing on the side characters. But other than that, man, whew, this movie is a hot damn mess, man. And you know, I I, I bootlegged it. I, I I looked up on I looked up this shit on pirating sites. And yes, I, I say that shit with no shame. I looked this movie up on on uh, the Pirates Bay, and I feel like I still got ripped off. Thank God. And quick story. Quick story before I uh, fucking end this review. Me and my brother, we were uh, going to the movies like the other, probably like a few weeks ago before we moved and everything. And um, we had a choice between watching Across the Spider-Verse, Transformers, or this movie. Now, I already seen, um, I already seen Across the Spider-Verse. And guess what? I didn't want to watch dog shit, so I watched Transformers instead. And let me get let me tell you, I do not regret watching Transformers. I do not I do not I do not regret that one bit because I'd rather watch a movie where big ass robots fight for an hour and a half than to watch overrated eye candy and absolute dog shit. <laughs> but yeah, man, like the Flash, man. I think the, in my full opinion. The worst type of movies that are coming out this year, the, like the worst type, like bad movies that you, when you can tell when there is effort put into it and you can tell that a movie can be genuinely good if there was more effort put into it. And I know this movie is just riddled with fucking plot holes. It's riddled with reshoots. The reshoots show in this, man. Thousands of people worked on this and holy shit, it does not show. Oh, man. And it tries to be No Way Home, and it, it, I don't think I need to explain why No Way Home is the better movie than The Flash. Because it's like, look, and it's ironic, too, because No Way Home is based off of No One More Day, something that is considered one of the worst Spider-Man storylines to come out in comics. Whereas The Flashpoint, where Flash is based off of Flashpoint, it's, you can say it's loosely based, but still... It's based off of Flashpoint, where it one of the best comics, probably one of the best DC comics to come out of recent memory. And yeah, man, oh shit, it's, it's so terrible. It's so terrible, man. It, I didn't think it would be this bad. And you know what's worse about this? What's even worse, on top of this movie being shit, on top of this movie going through development hell, on top of this movie looking like Son of the Mask if it was a, a PS1 tie-in game, this might be the only movie we see with the Flash. I feel bad for the character, to be honest. Like, honestly, look, if you want a good Flashpoint movie, go watch the animated movie, because that is way better. But if you want a better story about the Flash, 
I just recommend just watching anything else. Shit. I mean, the two seasons of The Flash on the CW, yeah, they were terrible, but at the same time, at least they were, at least they had some effort put into it and the actor was like, oh. But yeah, man, I don't know. And you know what? No wonder, you know, it's no wonder that people are not excited for Blue Beetle. I'm personally excited because I, I, I'm just, I'm not expecting much. I just want to be entertained. And at the end of the day, that's all we can look forward to nowadays with movies. If it, if it isn't woke and if it can't be the best movie in the world, at least have it be entertaining. It doesn't have to be like, the. it doesn't have to be a masterpiece so long as it keeps me entertained for an hour and a half. And I say this, this might be one of the most important things I say on this channel. Do not let this movie deter you from watching Blue Beetle. Like, cause I like, I know this movie is bad and it's, it's shattered any type of reputation that DC might've had. But Blue Beetle, I swear to God, genuinely looks good. And I will be watching it this August and I will be making a video on it. But do not give up on DC, man. Like it's as bad as the DCU was, as bad as the DCEU was as a whole, there were some there were some gems there. We had Shazam, we had James Gunn's Suicide Squad, we had the first Wonder Woman. Aquaman wasn't even half that bad. Like there were, those are four movies in a whole franchise that weren't complete shit by comparison. But yeah, man, I, I'm looking forward to the Blue Beetle, man. Like please, so go out and see this movie. I beg of you, go watch Blue Beetle and do not let the Flash. Sour your sour your hopes for DC because DC, believe it or not, does have a chance to bypass Marvel. So do not let this movie sour your hopes because DC because Warner Brothers is at least trying to make a good movie. You can't say the same about Marvel. And yeah, that's all I have to say. The Flash is fucking terrible. Um, yeah, like and subscribe. Um, shit, I just what the fuck, DC. Take care of yourselves and each other. Make sure to check out the ongoing series Red Dragonfly. It's available to read on Wattpad and it was one of my favorite stories to write. Read them all. Link will be in the description.